Go for it. So. We're coming back to you with some more Tokyo treats. With their February Valentine's Day box. As you can see, laid before you are all the treats that were within this box. So now we're gonna try them out and uh, tell you what we rank them. So you can go out, get yourself a Tokyo treats box, and see if you agree yep. with what we think of all these delicious snacks. To start, we're gonna try some Piri Kara Spicy Ramen. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. <laughs> Ooh, that's good! <coughs> oh, I'm crying now. Go get yourself some spicy ramen. This is so good. I would have to rank it a seven. This is like an eight for me. This is really good. Even though I can barely talk while eating it. <laughs> yeah, when you start drinking the broth, it's kind of spicy. Oh, dang ketchup. Oh, it's been spicy. Yeah. All right, next up is the Sweetheart Fruit Juice. The Sweetheart Fruit Juice to lower the spice of that ramen. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's straight concentrated. I like that. All natural. I'll go with five. I'm going to go with a six. That was tasty food. Ooh, Ichigo Movie Puffs. Thank <clears throat> you. I did not expect that to be crunchy. <laughs> it's like candy popcorn. Hmm. What is that flavor? I'm not entirely certain. It is strawberry wheat. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The wheat is interesting, very unique. It's kind of pop in your mouth. Hmm. This tastes like, like an ice cream topping or something. Wow, the creaminess is just really good. And that's going to be like an 8 out of 10 for me. I can have like a bucket of those. 6 out of 10. It was good. I could see myself eating a lot, but it wasn't amazing. Happy Turn Rice Crackers. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's a really good savory. Hang on. Yeah, it's flavorful. Ooh, really you. flavorful. It kind of reminds me of arare, but mm. more flavorful. Seven out of ten? Seven out of ten. Corn potage puffs. Interesting. What? Do you think it's supposed to say corn porridge puffs? The pu the uh, picture on it is a porridge, so... Mm. It looks like... Maybe it's a play on words or something. Ooh, it's like silky. Yeah, it's nice and creamy, very uh, buttery. 8 out of 10. I really like them. I think I'll give them a 7 out of 10. Ooh. They're pretty good. Cutie Pie Donuts. They're very syrupy, very um, sweet. A lot less savory than normal donuts, but definitely on the sweeter end. You think donuts are savory? I always thought they were, actually. But now I'm second guessing everything I know. I'd probably only rate them a 5, maybe a 4. I'll give it a five. Okay, I'll stick with five. And then we're good. We got cola bubble candy. What was that? What just happened in my mouth? <laughs> what? Similar to Pop Rocks, there's something that goes on when you eat it. It was just a lot at once. It was, um, they are described as a one-of-a-kind candy. <laughs> no other real description other than cola. It's like the fizz of a soda. Like the feeling. In your brain. <laughs> Very sweet, too. Whoa. Yeah, wow. That was, a. Uh, that was kind of nuts. That was fun. Yeah, I liked it. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't eat too many of those, but it was a fun experience. I'll give it a <laughs> 7 out of 10. I'll give it like a, I like the experience, I'll give it like a 5. <laughs> it was just cola bursting in your mouth. <laughs> the strawberry milk candy. I oh wow, yeah, very milky. And strawberry. <laughs> I wonder why. 
So they're hard candies you suck on, but when you get near the middle, you can bite them. Mm. And there's um, some type of milky center. I give it a five. I'm a big fan of that milky, creamy taste. I give it a nine. That was really good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Caramucho. Spicy, chili tomato. Chips. That's a lot of flavor in a potato chip. They taste like barbecue chips, too. They're good. 7 out of 10? When it comes to chips... Yeah, when it comes to chips, 8 out of 10. <laughs> Pokemon Candy Hearts. Ooh. I got Pikachu. There's like little Pokemon mm -hmm. on the hearts. I got Piplo. Oh. They're kind of like that Candy Smarties. They're not too sweet either. 4 out of 10. It's pretty good. 3 out of 10. Not because it doesn't taste good, it's just not something I would eat often. Yeah, I think that's a good description. We got Cacao no Megumi. Some dark chocolate candy. Ooh, I love dark chocolate. 60% cacao. No, that's a comfort chocolate. <laughs> If you like dark chocolate, you're going to like this. Better than Hershey's, but oh, yeah. everything is better than Hershey's. 8 out of 10. Ooh, I give that a 9. That's I could eat those every day. Mentaiko potato crisps. Oh, wow. That's like a potato chip cookie. This is where it is. This is what we're looking for when it comes to savory. This is delicious, super flavorful, not too crunchy. Why'd they only have like two in here? <laughs> Give us more. That was, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. It was like chili, <laughs> Rudy like flavor just blowing up. That reminds me of, um, I think they're called Senbai. We had them in the previous boxes. Really good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that, like, savory, sweet umami. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give that a 10. If you're going to go out and get yourself some snacks, get that if you like savory. Because, whoa. It's pretty good, pretty good. Really flavorful. <laughs> but not spicy. Ah, baked chocolate. Chocolate right. without any. They look like dog treats. It's kind of hard. Oh, wow. Mmm. That's some rich chocolate. I'm grabbing another one. <laughs> yeah, that's rich. Oh. This tiny treat is like taking a full bite of rich, dark chocolate cake. Mmm. That's the first thing. They're like cake snacks. There is so much flavor in this tiny little bite. Solid nine. Ten out of ten. Caramel, taro oh. nuts. Pretty crunchy. Crunchy, but not much flavor. It's like comforting, but not flavorful. Disappointing, but edible. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Shortcake strawberry Kit Kats. Ooh, I'm just opening it. You can smell it. Oh, wow. I think this is my favorite Kit Kat flavor. I want to give those Kit Kats a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yup. Yup. I am pleased with this Tokyo Treats box. This was really good. This has definitely been the best yet. We've already done the January box for both Soccer Co. and Tokyo Treats, along with the February box for Soccer Co. And this is my favorite box yet. It's just full of so many, so much variety of chocolate, sweet, savory. This is, yeah, the best so far. Hey, thanks for watching. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> make sure... Thanks for oh, wait, watching. Oh, wait, hold on. And make sure to check out our... And make sure to check out our March reviews for both the Soccer Coat and Tokyo Treats. They'll be our last 
in our three-part series of both the boxes, and we'll be giving our full review of what we think of it after our experience. Mm -hmm.